chemist versus chemical engineer. How do they differ? Which should I study to become? Which is better, chemistry or chemical engineering? In this video, we're going to be answering these questions. Firstly, chemistry is a science while chemical engineering is an engineering field which clearly separates them. Chemistry is a scientific study of the properties and behavior of matter. The key word for me there is study. And one of the ways of studying substances is by experimenting, conducting research, and it's in chemistry that new materials and compounds are being developed. Chemical engineering involves the production and manufacturing of products through chemical processes. A chemical engineer works with existing substances. They produce large, large amount of them. They're into large scale production and also the design of new equipment. Looking at what both of them are into, chemical engineers are into the production of oil and gas materials, plastics, food, caustic materials and acids, fertilizers and agrochemicals. They're also into pharmaceutics, into the production of large amounts of drugs, for example. Meanwhile, chemists are interested in general testing of products, analytical tests, new pharmaceuticals, nanotechnology, biotechnology, and also new food and chemicals research. When you look at them side by side, you see that chemists are all about the theory behind how it works, making new materials and learning how they interact with each other. While the chemical engineer is more focused on getting products, getting from reactant to product in an optimal manner, considering time, considering safety, and also making products in the cheapest possible way and in an environmentally friendly workplace. While the chemical engineer wants to make money by carrying out economically feasible projects, meaning projects that will bring profits in a year, two, or even three years, the chemist is all about making new products like we mentioned, and it's all about learning more about chemistry and making everything technically possible. Chemistry looks into the background of science and comparison aspects of organic, inorganic, analytical, physics and biochemistry. While chemical engineering is more multidisciplinary in its approach and it includes all the previous topics as well as aspects of physics and mathematics, for example, heat transfer, fluid dynamics, equipment design and so on. Now let's look at the curriculum of these majors. For chemistry, they may go deeper into biochemistry, molecular kinetics and dynamics, product synthesis, microbiology, and advanced spectroscopy. I just did a quick Google search, and this is from the University College London, and these are some of the courses for the undergraduate studying chemistry. As you can see year one, you see topics that I mentioned earlier, or you have organic physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, and even quantitative chemistry. While year two, you go into, as you can see, quantum mechanics and spectroscopy, you have the chemistry of biologically important mo molecules and i think that covers the aspects of molecular biology and uh, looking you'd see in organic being repeated organic you know this is chemistry to keep on coming up physical chemistry inorganic and so on then for year three as you can see we have the synthesis and characterization methods in chemistry this is synthetic chemistry like i mentioned there will be product synthesis and then look at the principles of drug design. I think this is where they talk about drugs, you know, pharmaceuticals and all. Then for the fourth year, a lot of these topics have been covered deeper. You cover advanced topics in chemistry, advanced topics in modern chemistry. For chemical engineering, after covering the basic sciences, you know, the physics, chemistry and mathematics, you go deeper into transport phenomena, unit operations, you go into the introduction of chemical engineering, you go into topics such as, you know, ceramics, pharmaceuticals, not topics for say, I would say fields, like um, petroleum engineering, you go deeper into polymer engineering. Some models you may study are separation processes, thermodynamics, heat, mass and momentum, fluid mechanics, industrial chemistry, and even environmental management. Moving on to their careers, these are the types of jobs you can get after graduating. For chemical engineering, you can be a production engineer, 
production design engineer, maintenance engineer, bioprocess or biotech engineer, oil and gas specialist, petroleum engineer, and so much more. For chemistry, you can be an analytical chemist, hazardous waste chemist, materials chemist, even a chemistry teacher, a water chemist, pharmacologist, toxicologist, and so much more. For these two fields, there are a lot of courses, sorry, there are a lot of jobs you can get. They're not limited to the ones that I mentioned. Now it's down to the crucial part. Which one should you choose? Let me put it this way. If you're interested in the fundamentals of chemistry and are considering a career in research, then go for chemistry. It may be a good fit for you. If you're interested in applying chemical principles to solving practical problems and designing and operating chemical processes, then chemical engineering may be a better fit for you. It is important you consider your career goals and your personal interests when deciding which career path is right for you. And I just hope with all the information that I've given you and all the information that you got, that you make the right choice. I wish you the best. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you find this video helpful, go ahead and watch the next one to get more information about courses. Signing off now, see you on the next one.